Danny, let's start with the news then that you're going to have to play two games in three days. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, we're disappointed, to be honest. Uh, just talking about it in the office there. Uh, I think it was the reason was the integrity of the competition, was it? Uh, we're very disappointed for our supporters because we know so many of them have, have booked things and travel and and suddenly it's been it's just been changed to to the Monday and obviously we know people at Gateshead and they, they didn't want it on the Monday so we, we're not blaming Gateshead and we certainly didn't want it Monday. Uh, like I say, it's disappointing for our supporters that uh, it's just been changed last minute where lots of them, especially our supporters, they like to travel and make a, a night of things have, have probably lost a lot of money. So yeah, disappointing but what can you do? You've got to play two and three games. Uh, the benefit is that we are champions of this league. We won't be in it next year. But what we want to do for the next three games is, is give a few performances that we haven't done over the last two games. Was there much you could have done about it or was your hand forced? Yeah, hand was forced, yeah. We were told to do it. So, as I said, I don't think Gateshead were happy about it. Uh, they're, they're doing a tour of Britain in the minute, aren't they, for their games. Uh, and like I say, we're down to Willstone and we're back. We'll be in Sunday and we're off to, off to Gateshead. So, yeah, we, we, we made it clear that we, we, we didn't want to do that. But, yeah, we were told in no uncertain terms that we were... We had to play that game. So, like I say, we get on with it. Uh, disappointed, but what can you do? Yeah, they've mentioned the, the integrity of the league, but what about the, the health and, and fitness of your players? Yeah, like I say, I think it's I think it's that stage of season where you can say those things, but it's more for me, like I say, and for us as the staff and the managers made the point in there about the supporters, that, uh, you know, we won't, won't, well, they might be if they get promoted, but we won't be going to Gates in next year. It's a fixture that our supporters like to travel up to. I know... You, Historically, it's a Saturday one, and they can stay up over a nice weekend in Newcastle. But I know personally, I know a lot of them myself that were going to go up on the Monday, and and some were going to go up on the Tuesday night as well, and have, have two nights. So uh, yeah, that that's the biggest disappointment thing, and, and it, it's a time where our, our supporters and all supporters are paying a lot of money to follow their teams all over the country, and and now they have to pay a little bit more because they've, they've got a bit of money gone down the drain. How is this going to affect team selection then? Uh, we'll, we'll be in Sunday now, so we weren't we weren't planning to be in Sunday. We'll be in Sunday after a long trip back from Wildstone. We've got a good squad. Like I say, it's not bursted at the seams in terms of numbers, but it's a good squad. Uh, the lads are fit. There'll be you know it's been a long season for everyone all over the country, so it's not just us. There'll be a, a few tired legs, I should imagine, Sunday morning. But you know we're nearly there, aren't we? So uh, let's put our moans and groans to a side and just get this season done. Will it perhaps the uh give an opportunity to some younger players maybe? Maybe, yeah, maybe. I think we've had uh, a couple on the bench at me recently and, you know, I think the gaffer might be looking to do that. And I think one thing, it, well, I know for sure he wants to do is is win the next next few games. Uh, we want to go to York after winning the league and create it, create like a party atmosphere for us with two and a half thousand supporters. <laughs> Wasn't to be. And then we had eight and a half thousand here against Kidderminster. Didn't turn up, did we? So, We've had two really flat flat days at the office. Uh, it's been a wonderful season. We can't forget that. I think we all would have taken a few flat games after winning the league at the start of the season at this stage. Uh, so we can't moan too much. Saying that, we want to finish the season performing like we have for most of the season. Yeah, it's been a while since that your last game then on Easter Monday. Has it been a case of a bit of rest and recovery then? Yeah, there was a bit of illness. There was some aches and pains and... I remember this season, a lot of lads have probably played through the pain barrier here and there, uh, and so maybe it's a good time for them to get some rest and recuperation into their bodies. Well deserved. They've done ever so well for this football club, regardless of the last couple of results. You know, it's the bigger picture, and that they've achieved what was set out by a mile. Uh, and we're watching games on the stream of staff the last few nights and over the weekend, and it's such a nice feeling to not have to watch and get nervous about how Barnet doing, how Bromley doing, and you know what's the permutation of results. It's done. It's done. What we want to do now, like I say, is these these next two games, for example. You know, our supporters might not be visiting those grounds for a while, so I know a lot of them are going down there in fancy dress, aren't they, tomorrow? Which is great. Uh, a lot were going to Tuesday Gateshead, but now they're going to try and go Monday, and obviously it's going to be a party atmosphere against Mainnet. So we want to get nine points out of nine. That's for sure. In terms of the uh, health of the squad then, uh, just give us an update, who, who have you definitely not got tomorrow and, and Monday then? Yeah, definitely Griggy, definitely Griggy and probably not Cole Clough. Uh, everyone else is is close, James Berry doing a bit of running today, see how he is, so yeah, it probably done us 
done us some good Liam that those few days it got people back like Grimes had a sore hamstring Palms was struggling with a, with, with a muscle injury but they're back they're back training so not having that game at the weekend probably helped us ideally you don't go Saturday Monday now but you know I, I think we've got the players to to cope with that although it's not an ideal situation uh, Miguel Freckleton, I think he played for Sheffield United in uh, the 23s, I think yeah. it was, under 21s. Has he yeah. gone back or was that, is no. he allowed to play for them? Yeah, he's allowed to play for them in that game. They wanted him to play. It was their request, which is which is fine. It got him some some valuable game time. Uh, and he's definitely travelling with us to Willstone, available for selection. And, so, and Willstone themselves are on stick play. I think this is going to be their fourth game of the week. So... You know, surely that gives you uh, an advantage, doesn't it, going into tomorrow? I suppose on, on paper it, it does, doesn't it? Uh, but then I suppose that you know they had a great result last night. Us as staff, we all watched their last two games because we because we could, uh, and I thought they had a right go against Southend, uh, barring a great save from the Southend keeper in the last kick of the game, they would have got a draw. And a two 0 down at home against Dorking, they showed some real character to come back. So they're a team that's fighting. Uh, obviously, Sam Cox has gone as an interim and has obviously galvanised them somehow. So, fair play to him. Uh, we're obviously the favourites going down there, like we have for most most games this season. And, and, and they'll they'll be a real tough tough opponent. You know, I think watching a few games over the stream over the last week or so, and teams that have beat us and played well against us, and sort of they look different outfits when you watch them. You know, and we played York the other week, and like I say, never moan about the result, but. Uh, you know, there's 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 real celebrations, isn't there, from their fans after, and now they're 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 bang back in trouble again. So, all these things make us, or should make us, all realise what a great position we're in. Uh, everyone in the league would swap places of us. It's not going to happen, uh, but we have to make sure these last three games we give these teams that most respect because all three will be playing for for something. Mainly they're safe, I know, but they'll want to come up here and maybe play for contracts. Gates would want to get in those playoffs for sure and finish high as he can, and Wildstone want to stay in the national league. Is there still that determination then in these last three games to get that 100-point mark? Yeah, and it was before your, and it's a shame because it, you're going to hear the things and naturally about the lads taking the foot off the gas, and it, you know, and it isn't the case. But I do understand the, uh, the criticisms and, and the sort of the people who may say that because it's it, you know from the outside looking, you've won the league and you've lost two on the trot. The preparation hadn't changed, that the mindset of the players hadn't changed. Sadly, the performances just just weren't there in those two games. But we've got three games now to get five points. Uh, 100, 100 would be great, wouldn't it? It'd be fantastic, especially if we were to get over the line the last game of the season here in front of a packed house.